Hi, this is Sava, Technical Director of Cool UK, and today I'm going to answer the question of what does water cooled air conditioning actually mean? When this question is raised by our clients, it typically means they're thinking of two possible scenarios. Number one, that our systems are what they used to call evaporative cooling systems. Or number two, that they're going to have water pipes and water flowing all around their apartment and this is going to cause them problems and headaches and humidity issues in the future. Both of those are not true when it comes to our systems and I'll explain. Number one, an evaporative cooling system relies on warm air passing over a wet surface and this typically increases humidity in the space and it's an old type solution. They call those evaporative coolers. Google them, look them up, you'll see what they're about. It's nothing to do with what we offer you. Secondly, when it comes to our solution, there certainly isn't any water pipes that flow around your apartment, over your ceilings, anything like that. So you have absolutely zero chance of water issues, humidity issues, or anything like that. Our systems work in exactly the same way and offer you a no compromise air conditioning cooling solution to the likes of a conventional system like Daikin, Mitsubishi, Toshiba, etc. that have condensers on the outside of the building. The way those systems work is you have your fan coils, the room units which blow out the cold air, you have refrigeration pipe work that then runs to the outside and is connected to an external box. That box houses a compressor. That compressor pumps up and down, sending cold refrigerant around your property. As a process of pumping up and down and doing all that work, it gets hot, it needs to cool itself down, so it spins a large fan on the outside, hence why the box is quite big, and cools itself down and then shuts off. In comparison to our system, our system has the units on the inside, the fan coil units, very similar has refrigeration pipework that flows from A to B to the condenser, so no water. But instead, our condenser does not need to live on the outside of your property. It's small and concealed discreetly in amongst a utility zone. So beside a washing machine, under a kitchen cabinet, beside a boiler, somewhere like that. So how does our unit get rid of the heat of pumping up and down with the compressor inside it? Well, like the conventional system, spun the large fan, our system opens a valve in a very controlled manner and allows cold water to flow around the condenser, cool itself down and then shut off. So it's a water cooled condenser as opposed to an air cooled condenser and that's the primary difference. So going back to the original question, the only water is in effect connected to that small box which is discreetly concealed. Similar to like your washing machine has a connection on the back, this has a connection on the back of it. So there's no water that ever flows to and from, there's no storage of water in that system, so you've got no issues with anything like uh, illnesses of co or contamination. So it's simply a water-cooled condenser box as opposed to an air-cooled condenser box. Nothing over your ceilings. The only thing flowing from A to B is refrigerant gas, exactly in the same manner as a conventional system. And I hope that has answered this myth. If you would like any more information on what I've just said, then please, by all means, contact us on the number below or look at our website. Thank you.